What's going on guys, Jack Kellogg here at the Stonehenge, just walking there now with Mr. Harry Corker himself. Hello. <laughs> He's actually one of my students for the most part, would you say that's yeah, correct? Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. So I met Harry 2020 and he was originally doing a family business but wasn't super passionate about it. So he got into trading and fortunately for him, well, a little unfortunate as well. He started in 2020 where the market was super easy. So he was telling me on the ride here, he was making like three grand this first month. Next month he was making more money and he worked himself up to about a six figure year, six figure couple years between 2020 and 2021. Um, and then last year in 2022, everyone knows we suffered the bear market. So Harry, he didn't, experienced tough times like that before so it was a little bit difficult for him but now in 2023 it's actually what june june 12th yeah. um he's back on track he's having a green year he's up nearly 100 r on the the year and slowly building himself back up after a very small red red year last year so i just wanted to ask you harry what were some lessons that you learned from the journey so far a lot <laughs> It was all about, you know, resilience. Definitely learnt that and expectations in trading. You can have a picture in your head or an idea of how things are gonna go. Um, but I think for me, I set big high expectations after having a very sort of successful couple of years. Um, and that maybe made me a bit more forceful in my trading and pressing for profits and almost expecting me to be at this you know, level up here where I'd, I'd set myself and expected me to be in X amount of time. And when I wasn't there, you know, sort of hit me quite hard. And when you do things like that, it relates to your trading, it rolls over. So you can be forceful in your trades, you can be over trading. Um, and it's really about breaking that cycle of trying to basically make money trading, which is obviously the ultimate goal. Um, but really just like Jack goes on all of it, all, all the time, it's about process and you know taking your time and you know following a process having a system um having a having a structure to your day a routine that you you know you turn up at the market each day and you carry out your process and you do the same thing each day look for the same opportunities the same strategies whatever it is you might play and you repeat that and for me from having a very successful time uh, trading strategies like jack and learning from sykes as well you know, that sort of background to having to, you know, completely basically restart fresh over when them sort of strategies weren't working anymore. Um, it just taught me, yeah, resilience for sure. And just, you know, you can't force things in trading. You have to just let it flow and take your time. And, you know, it, it's, it's tough. It really showed me that, you know, you can have some really good times, but you can also have some really low times. Um, but if you're resilient and you, you're not afraid to do the hard work and, you know, dig in when it matters. And like I say, if you've got to start from scratch again, you've got to start from scratch and you just build yourself back up and you go from there. And I think if you're committed and you enjoy it and, you, you know, you do the work necessary and, you know, you focus on yourself and try not to be distracted by other people and what maybe they're doing. And, um, yeah, just dig deep and eventually it will start working again and things will come full circle and then you know the great thing about trading is the world's your oyster you can take it as far as you want and yeah it's definitely possible you just got to do the hard work and not be afraid of yeah potentially having to start again and that was one of my biggest lessons was you know set an expectation too high for myself and in a market where it's not possible and uh yeah sometimes we've got to start from scratch and learn them hard lessons yeah a couple of things that i took away from that is to really be successful in any market condition the market is gonna have flows and it's gonna have different periods of hotness and coldness and if you have any type of expectation if you have any type of ego if you have any type of i gotta get this done tomorrow i gotta get this done this week i gotta get this done this year forget all about that if the market is not a good market you're gonna really struggle and one thing that I give Harry a lot of credit is he actually went back to $10 risk 
in 2022 when he started consistently losing. And I think that really saved you from possibly blowing up your entire account. Yeah, it definitely did, yeah. And to do that, you really have to just kill your ego and, and literally trade $10 risk is like, it seems very silly. Yep. But when you're trying to get back to the process and you're trying to get back to a profitable strategy, that's really what it takes. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about how you made that decision and maybe you can even help someone who's consistently losing right now yeah. and they just kind of need this extra little bit of push to get back to their process and not just be focused on money. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, you've got to put your ego aside and, you know, what's your aspirations, what are your dreams? To get to that point, you've got to be able to do whatever it takes. So if it's, you know... I got to a point where I'd scaled my account to where I was risking, you know, nearly a thousand dollars a trade pretty much on my A plus setups. To go from a thousand dollars back to ten dollars is, you know, a huge jump and a big ego killer. But I had first hand experience with being close to other traders who had lost, you know, the majority of their accounts, 90% of their accounts, you know, had to go back to doing other work and you know finding other means of income to rebuild that account. So I was very close to people out. I did have a big blow up myself. I lost about 25, 30% of my account at the back end of a hot run. Um, and for me, it was all about preservation of that. And the fact that if I did lose all my money in my account, that I probably would find it very difficult to get going again. So yeah, I think you just gotta, you've just got to dig deep and do what it takes because when you're in that cycle of trying to make money in the market and you're losing, the first thing we think of is, right, how can I make this back? How quick can I, you know, what trade can I take that I'm gonna make that last loss back or make them 10 last losses back as quick as possible? But actually when we're losing money, you need to be more risk averse and think of risk first rather than how quickly I can make that back. It's all about making that money back slowly and properly with good risk management and taking the correct trades and not forcing things like I said. And, you know, it takes time, but if you wanna make it in this game and you know, like I say, there's no sort of limit to your potential. You really have to be super self-aware of your emotions, super self-aware of discipline. And for me, that's with like a, a well-structured day and things like working out in the morning and making sure I get all this stuff done and I approach the day in a calm and centered manner rather than, you know, wake up late, hectic, get to the market, find shares, short this, do that, do that. It's, it's all really about, you know, your whole lifestyle and if you want to make it in this game, like I say, you've got to be willing to do what it takes. And sometimes that's, you know, swallowing your pride and denting your ego a bit. And yeah, just you just got to do it. Like if, if that's if that's your goal and that's your dream, which it is for me, you, there's no two way about it. You'll, you'll do you'll do what it takes. And I think this really just got to take that leap and really just fucking push through and yeah, get the shit done. Yeah, I love that. Uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, we're actually walking right now to the Stonehenge, which was something that was created about 7,000 years ago. So I want to talk a little bit about how good things take time, as well as um, things that are worth doing, they last, right? And really two things that come to my head, the first one being you only need to get rich one time. So that's something that happened with the Stonehenge, right? These people worked their ass off for thousands of years. I don't know, maybe hundreds of years, whatever it is. And they were able to create this rock structure that has now created people like us 7,000 years later to come and look at it. And that's something that also you have to consider in trading. Like if you make a bunch of money, um, millions of dollars, whatever it is, whatever that number is for you, you only have to do that one time. And if you're able to then size back down or consistently profit and keep that wealth and grow that passively, you're able to keep that going for your entire life. Maybe even your kid's generation, their kid's generation until eventually something messed up happens and it eventually probably will get wiped out. Um, but you really can create that generational wealth and that's Something that the Stonehenge also has taught us that these good things really stick around and as well as good things take time. So yep. these people were out here grinding every single day, moving these rocks, setting up this rock structure, doing other things that are around that people don't even see. What do you think about that, Harry? Yeah, I think you're bang on. You know, good things do take time and, you know, 
especially things that are built, built to last and you know going to be here for a while you know like you say this was 2000 what does it say but they're 2500 before christ so yeah you're talking about five six seven thousand years ago and it's still here now so it relates to trading in the fact like you know good structure good process system you know you, you want to be lasting it's not about how much you can make how quickly you know it's a repeatable it's built to last and it takes time for sure and you need that process that is rock solid you need that process <laughs> that is not going to get blown over by the wind the stone hedge is still standing here today like i said for thousands of years right yeah. and that's how your trading strategy has to be you can't just go on wall street bets buy amc buy gme buy bed bath and beyond buy carvana and yeah some of these stocks have went up a lot and i'm sure a lot of people have made a lot of money off them but i guarantee the next time that they go to trade that same exact holding and hoping strategy diamond handing and looking for huge percent moves that are going to make them millions and millions of dollars they're probably going to end up losing 50 70 90 percent and that's the unfortunate thing because they're not building that structure with a solid process with rock solid found uh, foundation if you go all in on one trade all it takes is one big gust of wind right something that i always think about is if you start with ten thousand and you make it two million think about how much percentage gain you have to make on your money right you have to double it so many times double 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 hundreds and thousands of percent i'm not sure what the exact number is but think about it you only need to lose 100 percent one time all in to to lose everything and that's why going all in and using leverage is very dangerous you want a good solid process that is going to create singles doubles triples and even potentially a home run situation where you get in with decent size and it just starts to go in your favor and you're able to keep on adding once you really know what your process is what do you think about this harry yeah so true it's longevity in the game and like exactly what i was saying earlier like with trading you can't control the outcome so what can you control in trading you can control you know do your best to control yourself do your best to control your system and your process and do your best every day to show up in the best frame of mind and the best version of yourself to be able to execute that system and process and repeat that over time and you know if you're unprofitable over time you keep working away and you, you find one on one strategy two strategies that you start to make money in and you double down on that and then you know you just you just expand and compound that over time you compound your earnings you compound your growth you compound your knowledge and you know three four five years later you know you're in a you're in a completely different space but yeah you've got to you've got to stick to your process and really just dig deep through hard times it's definitely what the last 18 months two years has taught me is you know you've got to be resilient and you've got to have these solid foundations like jack's saying to be able to build upon um in times when you know the market will be hotter and in, in times you know when it's like we've seen you have to be resilient and uh you know protect your account and you know think risk first rather than how much money can i make in a hot market and yeah double down on that really and with that i'm gonna wrap this this video up um how to build the rock solid trading process like the stonehenge <laughs> peace out guys go